Hello everybody. Welcome back to the tea table. I'm going to try piping some grass. So I'm going to make my whip soap with um, this spirulina powder or spirulina powder I guess that's how you say it. So I've already prepared this bag ahead of time. I've never used these bags before. They're just plastic bags I got off the internet. But I did put a coupler in as well as my piping tip. This is the um, grass piping tip. Um, it's gonna, or hair, you can make hair with it. And, and the reason I put a coupler on is, which is this white thing, is just in case I wanna change the tip. Okay, so I have never used this before. Certainly never used this brand. I just got it, um, ordered it offline. And oh, it smells terrible. I just I broke the seal earlier today. I don't care for the way it smells, but we'll see. I'm gonna add a little bit of water. I'm not gonna add a whole lot because I don't wanna water my frosting down too much. What else? Whoops. <laughs> also, no, I just spilled it everywhere. The soap that I make is naturally an opaque white. Um, so in order to achieve a dark color, you really have to use a, a, a lot of whatever substance you're putting in to color it. Because I don't know how much we'll need. And I want to make sure that it's incorporated fully. I don't even know if this is going to work, to be honest with you. I've never done something like this before with the whip soap, and then I'm going to pour a cold process in it. Um, but we'll see. Ooh. Actually, kind of is a grassy color. I like that color. It is way too thin to use right now, so we're going to let it thicken up. The white is actually pretty good. It doesn't um, fall off the spoon or spatula right away, as you can see. Go back to our green not as thick as it could be. Um. I'm going to use this mold because it's a little bit flexible. And the idea is I'm going to be piping grass. I'm going to do a mountain, mountain themed soap. So I want to pipe grass. You know, if you find that your soap is not holding its shape, just let it sit for a few minutes and it will thicken up. The longer you let it sit, the thicker it will get. You want it to be the consistency of buttercream frosting. If it's the consistency of something like Cool Whip, it's probably not going to hold its shape for very long. Uh, you'll pipe it and then it'll almost melt. And you can use this technique for making hair as well. In order to get the consistency or the shape of hair or grass, you essentially want to squeeze on your piping bag while you pull up at the same time. I think piping grass is really one of the easiest piping techniques out there that there is. I'm actually piping left-handed um, in this shot and I am not left-handed at all. I'm actually right-handed but that's just how easy it is to pipe grass. So we're gonna let that harden. Um, I have to go mow my lawn and when I come back we'll see if this is hardened up enough to pour our, our cold process open.
okay here is our finished product that we're going to let set up overnight I will be back tomorrow to cut it I really do not know if we're gonna have air bubbles in it or not it was a little bit thick when I poured it so it'll be a surprise for me tomorrow too because I've never done a soap like this before all right guys see you tomorrow we are back uh, our soap has set up a little bit it's still a little soft it hasn't even been 24 hours, but I want to cut it and see what it looks like on the inside. Mm -hmm. So we're going to try and cut this. I've never made this soap before, so it could end up being an epic fail. <laughs> well, we will cut it open and see what it looks like on the inside. So you could see my soap was too thick and I... Um, cut it uh, up when I poured it so it didn't actually cover all of the grass. This is what our soap looks like. It's not exactly what I had pictured, but it's still pretty. This was a sample batch, so I don't mind that it didn't really work out as planned. Um, I'm gonna make, make another batch. I like this. Um, I don't like the bottom. smells really really good. There it is up close. Alright guys so there we have it. Not exactly it didn't really turn out as planned but it's still not a bad looking soap. Thank you everybody for watching this video. Hopefully you have learned a new technique. Hopefully you enjoyed watching this. Soap making is a learning experience for everybody myself included. Um, so if you don't succeed on your first try, do it again. It's really enjoyable. Ask questions, read as, min as much as you can, watch as many videos as you can. If you did enjoy this video, please make sure you subscribe so that you can continue to receive more videos. Make sure to check me out on Facebook. I have a lot of photos posted. Um, share this video if you know somebody that might like to learn how to pipe. Don't forget to hit that like button. You guys know where it's at by now. You've heard this a million times. So thank you very much for spending your afternoon tea time with me. And tune in next time. We'll see you again at the tea table.